Hey everyone, this is Burn back with a Let's Play. I'm playing Street Fighter. Um, well, in this case, I'm kind of forcing myself to play. Uh, I don't play this every day anymore because I've gotten extremely bored with the game, and um, I've been just trying to find a solo secondary. Um, as you may know, or already know, I've decided to go with Bison as a secondary, but looking at things now, that may not be that great of a choice. However, I've said that so many times in the past, and I really haven't put any that much effort into playing and learning about him. I just play him here and there and swing it by. That's how I usually play my characters, or how I learn characters. So, Rico Suave is on my friends list. Um, I've known him since well, 2009, um, when DMG had first started, and even before I joined DMG. Um, as of right now, I think he's still DMG. I'm not. I, I left in August. But um, I asked him politely if he would like to play a Bison Mirror, not to try to beat him, just to play against a decent bison. Um, I haven't really had recently any experience against a decent bison. The only time I did was when I was at Canada Cup and I had the privilege of playing against Kim1234 but that was only like one match or maybe two. Um, there, were, there weren't enough setups there and people wanted to play so I didn't want to hog it. But um, I did learn some things from him just by watching him and he did tell me some um, some interesting things about bison one being you know i think he said don't choose him <laughs> because he's a hard character and uh he has problems coming back um if he doesn't have much life but um i found him extremely fun to play and uh either people are afraid of bison or he has good tools but I feel more comfortable playing him against certain characters than I have ever felt with Ken. Except for Guile. Guile is irrelevant in this conversation. However, I'm not saying that um, I can never be done with Ken. I've decided I can never say that because I still go back and play him here and there. Because uh, he's my first character, and he's the character I like. And I strongly believe if you don't play a character that you... If you do play a character that you don't really like, then you're not going to have much fun. But I also believe that people nowadays should have um, some counterpick characters. Because everyone's counterpicking, no shame. I mean... Much respect to character loyalists. I mean, I, I was a character loyalist, but I mean, you know, after a while, you're just like, wow. <laughs> I mean, you can be on top of your game, but you know, why make the match harder for you when you can make it easier for you? Um, so again, I do agree with character loyalty to an extent, um, especially when it comes down to you know, if you're in the finals of a tournament um, and you want that money. And someone who's counterpicking you, you know, you should have a ch you should have something to counterpick them back. And that's just, that's it's sad, but that's just the state of the game. That's the state of playing. It's competitive, you know. But um, I again, Bison, like, I really really want him as a secondary. But I've recently been playing with another character that I'm not gonna say the name of that character um, but I've been learning that character as well and I, I don't want to have like 15 characters under my belt but I feel like I'm going back to, to the way I was when I was in Super when all the downback characters were just too good and I just had problems and I couldn't even figure out who I wanted to main and then I swear to god my main was like random select because I was just choosing whoever I wanted to play just to find a character and I never did in Super really. I mean my main was Ken. I played Ken since Vanilla but Super I didn't play that much Ken because it was just 
always, every match is an uphill battle. It was really annoying. But anyway, um, this new character I'm learning now, uh, depending on how things go, will probably replace Bison, but I think it might be smart that he replaces Ken. Which means I can't play Ken anymore. Or, I mean, I, I, you won't see me playing Ken anymore. I mean, I can still play Ken, but you won't see me play Ken anymore in tournaments. So, I, I, again, it's, I, it's just a lot of, I've been thinking a lot about it. And um, we'll see uh, what happens. But as of for this match, um, like I said before, I, I'm still learning these with bison I still have a lot of quirks I I still don't know that much spacing or is spacing that much of the time I don't have little bison gimmicks so playing against Rico and other bison mains uh, it's nice to see like things that the character can can do that I haven't even thought of or I haven't even attempted oh yeah I probably should mention um, there have been a few people who have asked me how I feel about the whole Street Fighter coming to esports now with the whole, you know, PL thing. I think it's a good, good thing, obviously. It's what people want. Um, but I think you're going to start to see a lot of people on their game. You're going to see a lot of unblockable, silly crap um, that's going to really expose the game. I also believe that you're going to only see a few characters, either in the beginning or eventually as time progresses, you're going to see those top characters just constantly over and over and over. Um, you're going to see the Kamis and the Akumas, um, you'll probably see the sets, you know. I mean, I would love to see all types of characters representing, but depending on how that pot is, you, I, I don't think you'll, you'll see that many, um, it won't be that diverse. And that's another bad thing about it. People are going to play to win. Um, you know, you're going to see people there that are going to choose their main. They may go far. I, I I hope that those people do win. You know, people who stick with their characters or who don't play top tier characters and prevail through all the top tier character math. I think people are sleeping a little bit on Boozy. She has unblockable for every character. From what I was told and from what I've seen and I know it's a bitch playing against her as Ken and even as Bison some people say Bison beats a Ibuki um, I still think it's a pain especially if the Bison has, or especially if the Ibuki has options to like down to a T but um, you're gonna see a lot of these really really strong or not strong I want to say vortex oriented 50-50 oriented characters in these tournaments um, so, people are already calling for patches for the game. Who knows, maybe a patch will come. I personally hate patches, especially if they nerf characters. I'd rather, if you're going to patch, I personally personally believe they should buff characters who need it instead of nerfing characters who already have it. With all these unblockables starting to be abused, and I mean you can't you can't hate the player for abusing it. It's in the game, and the vortexes and guessing it just you know I don't even know who's like the better player anymore when it comes to a match. I start looking at character matchups instead of players, especially when it comes to like a top tier character versus a mid or maybe a mid high character. You know if I see two top tier characters going at it, then I'm like okay well. I don't know, but you know, if I see like a, a Akuma versus, I don't know, um, a Chun-Li, immediately I start thinking of character matchups. I don't even think about the player. I, I think about that later after the match is over, depending on what the, the player, the Chun-Li player done, did in the match. I mean, if they're on point and they still get beat because of the Vortex, I mean, it's the matchup. It's really hard to tell. Again, I'm not making any excuses or anything. I just... It's just really hard to call. I do like how the game is still evolving, um, even to this day. And, uh, 
how tournaments still can bring, you know, this game is not really a dead game. It's, it can still get hype, um, especially at top level play. But, um, anyway, uh, thanks for watching. Thanks for hearing me blab about all this stuff. And, um, take care. Bison wins!